So today we will be discussing a relatively small topic, dwarf planets. A dwarf planet is a spherical celestial body revolving about the sun, similar to a planet that isn't large enough to gravitationally clear its orbital region of other celestial bodies. So, scientifically speaking, it's a small planet. A few dwarf planets lie within the Kuiper Belt, an area that is located around our solar system that contains small bodies mostly made of ice. Haumea, Makimaki, Eris, and Pluto lie within the Kuiper Belt. Pluto may be cool enough for another group to use, but it's not cool enough to be a planet. Haumea was formerly nicknamed Santa Claus for the day it was discovered, December 27, 2004. See the resemblance? Haumea is now named after the Hawaiian goddess of fertility alongside its two moons, Hayaka, goddess of the island, and Namaka, spirit of the water. A day on Haumea only lasts 3.9 hours. It rotates so rapidly it has caused the planet to form an elongated shape. My name's Haumea, I am the third dwarf from the sun. I am oval in shape due to the fast rotations I'm spun. My name's Haumea, there is Dipe on who discovered me. It was either Caltech or a Spanish observer. We are about to make make you know a little bit more about Maki Maki, aka Easter Bunny, because of the group that discovered it. Maki Maki sure is a lonely object. It has no moons and no atmosphere. The only slightly interesting thing about it is the indirectly observed ice volcanoes or cryovolcanoes. Instead of erupting molten rock, cryovolcanoes erupt low boiling point elements like methane and nitrogen. This normally erupts from the volcano at about 100 degrees Celsius, where it then becomes airborne dust. The energy source of the volcano is thought to come from a greenhouse effect caused by light passing through the ice surface where pressure will build up. We've been saving the biggest and best for last, Eris. Eris is the most massive dwarf planet in the solar system, with a mass exceeding Pluto's by 28%. Eris was discovered in 2003 during a Palomar Observatory survey of the outer solar system by Professor Mike Brown. The dwarf planet is often so far from the sun that its atmosphere collapses and freezes onto the surface in an icy glaze. It takes the icy dwarf planet 557 years to complete a single orbit around the sun. My name is Ares. I am a dwarf planet. The furthest dwarf from the sun the humans found yet. Minus 390 is my average degree. If you made it to my surface, then you'd probably freeze. The snow me is my one natural satellite sea. It means lawlessness and it to wrap this up, although dwarf planets may be a small part of our solar system, they mean a lot to us. And if you want to learn any more about this, take Stars and Galaxies with Dr. Miller.